So guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you've kept up with my channel at all, you know it's all about woodworking, whether that be woodworking tools, woodworking projects. And as of late, we're doing woodworking restoration or finishing. Uh, we're doing a camper right now too. It's got a lot of woodworking involved in it or carpentry more than anything. Uh, but today we're on to another restoration or refinishing project, however you want to call that. So the project we're working on today, uh, the customer reached out to me actually earlier last year and things had to be worked around. I couldn't actually get to it. Uh, she had mentioned it being a dresser and in my mind a dresser being much larger of course than this probably in my opinion is more similar to a vanity but regardless you can see here what we've got working with here uh, it's got some bad spots I don't I don't really know what actually happened here but there's some pretty bad spots and you can see this is in pretty bad shape here We're, we've got a lot of rat poison in here that's kind of I guess been thrown in here to keep the mice out and that kind of stuff but it's actually liquefied I should, I should say or whatever and it's actually kind of stained this luckily it's only that drawer at least for the most part now there is some white substance in here as well it possibly could be something to do with mold uh, good thing about this one it is solid wood uh, but the owner has decided they just want to paint this so it has been painted before as you can tell here i don't know if it's kind of hard to pick up but somebody's put a darker paint on that uh, but basically she wants this refinished uh, to do almost sort of a farmhouse look it's going to be white once we get that done she's got an aging wax that goes on there and kind of kind of adds a brown luster to certain areas so we're going to do the best we can with that uh, but we're going to get started today I think probably the first thing we need to get to is figure out if we can get maybe these drawers apart. If nothing else, get them cleaned up really good. We really got to get that rat poison out of there because I'm not sure health wise if that's too good to be messing with that stuff. But we're going to get rid of that. Clean this up, get started, and you'll see us when we get to that point. There is one flaw in this, and I don't know if this was like this from. The factory or whoever had built this originally but there is no stops on these and so there is a back on this cabinet here uh, but it does not stop anything and at least not to a point so that sinks in a good couple inches before it actually hits the back of it so what we're going to be doing is adding a stop back there to where this stops flush with the front and it doesn't go any farther that way you ain't got any kind of problems and it doesn't look bad but we're going to fix that up got some sticking drawers here as you can see we'll have to hit that with a hand plane a little bit and they're not sitting exactly perfect either so we'll have to see what these ride on see if we can get those straightened out
So I'm working on getting this mirror and I don't know what you call it, the bracket maybe that this thing is going on to. There are two uprights that are holding the mirror part of this on along with this trim piece at the back. But if you can see it on camera, somebody's really had a go with some hammer and nails, finishing nails, and actually I'm just afraid we're going to tear this piece up because somebody's had a go with this with large framing nails. You can see ones came through here and they've bent it over. Same here. Uh, they just went at it rather crudely. So that I'm going to leave alone. It's going to be up against the wall. You're not going to see it anyway. But hopefully we can take this part and take this completely off the top of it. Uh, these small ones I don't think will be too much of an issue to get out. Hopefully they don't have any of that holding this down to the top of this and we can get this off.
So as I said at the beginning of this video, the customers wanted this to be a farmhouse distressed. I know a lot of you would say they, do, they wouldn't paint wood and that kind of stuff, and I kind of have agreements with that, but this is what the customer wanted. Uh, I did run into two issues though. The customer supplied me with the paint and the top coat. Uh, unfortunately, I do not think maybe they were compatible because I ran into some issues after we sprayed the paint. The paint went on great. No bleeding through, anything like that. When we put a top coat on, all of a sudden, yellow just started bleeding through. And if you'll look at this, it also, not only the yellow, had some cracks pop up. It basically, I've seen this when you clear coat a car at least, and you're doing it in too hot of a climate, it can dry too quick and spread apart. However, I don't think that was the issue with this one. I think more it was, you know, some type of a chemical in the two products that did not react with one another. Uh, and so I spoke with the owner, and she's good with it because we actually went back and touched it up. We did do the stressing on it. You can see here it kind of kind of looks old, and the, and the crackling and we're okay with because the crackling does make it look old. The yellow, I wasn't. 100% uh, happy with that myself. I did not like that coming through there and if anybody knows me they'll tell you even if I got to lose money I'm not turning something loose to somebody until I'm satisfied with it and I was not satisfied with that yellow bleeding through. So what I done I put the white top coat back over top of it very thinly with a brush uh, and I think we've eliminated most of that yellowish look. The crackling still in there but like I said it looks makes it look old and that's kind of what they were going for uh, but anyway we're going to put the drawers in in a moment we're going to put the mirror and the uprights for that mirror together get it on there put everything together and we'll show you what it looks like at the end So that brings us to the end of this video. Now naturally with any of these projects you're going to have challenges and I ran into something I've never ran into before. As I said before I don't ever claim to be a restorer or refinisher 
it just kind of got thrust upon me. People were asking me if I could do it, and uh, we'll take it on and see what happens. Uh, and the two, the paint and the poly, didn't want to work together correctly, but either way, I think it turned out good in the end. The owners, I've showed them pics of it, and they seem to be pretty thrilled with it, so that's the main thing. It's a win in my book. So I appreciate you watching. If you've made it this far, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one.